I like to like ride my bike too. I think that's fun. Or like people watch. I mean, everybody does it on Facebook, creeping and stuff. So it's kind of like the Facebook alive, but instead of being behind a computer all day, I'm actually like outside in the sun playing and stuff. Yeah, so sometimes I, uh, I just like to bring my trumpet and just like play. And uh, sometimes I just pick a corner and just jam out there and like people walk by and like start dancing or doing something crazy. And I'm like, okay, that's tight. But um, this one dude came up to me randomly and he was like, hey man, are you, uh, are you looking for a job? I was like, yeah, I need, a, I need to pay for tuition soon. So I was like, what do you have? And uh, he told me about it and I was like, what? That's pretty, that sounds pretty, pretty legit. So I jumped on it. That's what I do now. Just go to the park and play my trumpet all day and get paid in ice cream. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. Hey, y'all want to buy ice cream? Uh, no, thanks. It's really cheap and good. Uh, it's all right. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you just, like, form a line and pretend to be ice buying ice cream? I know there's a lot of talk about how the economy is getting better and stuff, but um, honestly, I don't see it. Like, I remember going out to that park, and there'd be lines for days of kids just trying to buy ice cream, but now you go and you see, like, one maybe every 30 minutes. But uh, when I got that job, I was like, well, let me see what I can do to be a good Samaritan, you know, help the community out a little and, like, see what I can do and make things better. And, like, I used what I learned in school, and I applied that to life, and then, like, now, I mean, there's lines of kids just trying to buy ice cream for like two blocks. So, I mean, it just feels good to be able to like give back to the community and um, it just makes me feel good. Yeah, when I first met Jose Gomez, um, I didn't really know what to expect, you know, being new to this whole ice cream business thing. But now I, I really understand how hard it is to be a small business owner. I usually have a break from three to five, so I try to go out and get rid of some stress that's been building up from working so hard. I mean, anything from planking to coming up on a rugby game with some friends. I meet a lot of people when I'm out here. I just recently met this guy, Thaddeus, and he's kind of like my mentor now. He gives me a lot of advice on life and just motivation in general. He, he brings distortion, whereas God brought blessings. Like I said again, I don't want to be too spiritual, but it's all about him. Yeah. It's all about his good. Ah. Uh, you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Let's do this. Right. He likes to talk a lot, so I, I try not to stick around for too long, you know, get in a few good words of wisdom and then say I got to go back to work, which I usually go and meet up with my friend Jason. They got some kind of Harry Potter game going on. Being out in the sun all day, I get pretty tired, so I like to go to this fountain nearby to cool off. I mean, I'm not trying to get dehydrated or anything, but um, how do we get so good? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, people tell me that I'm good with kids all the time and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm a make a great dad, but my main goal right now is just to live life to the fullest and just enjoy life every day.